SpaceX just shocked everyone by revealing Vast's gravity station that will destroy the ISS. While NASA's $400 billion space station is literally falling apart with air leaks, this unknown company is building something 42% bigger with artificial gravity. No government funding, no delays, just pure genius. How are they moving faster than billion-dollar NASA projects? What makes this gravity technology so revolutionary? Let's dive right in. Right now, as you're reading this, the International Space Station is literally disintegrating 250 miles above our heads. October 9, 2023, a catastrophic coolant leak erupts from the Russian Nauka module. Engineers watch helplessly as their $150 billion masterpiece bleeds to death in the vacuum of space. But that's not even the worst part. The Zvezda module has been hemorrhaging precious air since 2019. Every day, astronauts wake up to dropping pressure readings and the terrifying reality that their safe haven is slowly suffocating them. When Elon Musk, the man who literally revolutionized spaceflight, publicly declares that the ISS should be destroyed within two years, you know we're facing an unprecedented crisis. But here's what NASA doesn't want you to know. While they're paralyzed by bureaucracy and throwing taxpayer billions at failing contractors, a mysterious crypto billionaire has been quietly building humanity's next orbital home. And it's so advanced, so revolutionary, that when SpaceX revealed the partnership, it sent shockwaves through the entire aerospace industry. Meet Jed McCaleb, a name you've probably never heard, but a man who's about to reshape human civilization. This isn't some Silicon Valley dreamer with PowerPoint presentations. McCaleb co-founded Ripple, sold it for billions, and now he's pointing that same disruptive genius at the one industry that's been stuck in the Stone Age for decades, space stations. While Blue Origin burns through Jeff Bezos' money with nothing to show for it, and while Sierra Space talks big about inflatable modules that exist only in computer simulations, McCaleb's company, Vast, has actual hardware passing NASA's most brutal tests. But why would a crypto billionaire risk everything on space stations? The answer reveals a vision so audacious, so perfectly timed, that it makes every government space program look like amateur hour. McCaleb sees what others miss. The ISS crisis isn't just an ending. It's the greatest business opportunity in human history. Picture this. You're floating inside what feels like a luxury apartment designed by Apple's former architects. Haven One isn't just bigger than existing modules. It's fundamentally different. At 4.4 meters wide and 10.1 meters tall, this 14-ton marble packs 45 cubic meters of living space into a package that makes the ISS look like a cramped submarine from the 1990s. But here's the twist that nobody saw coming. Haven One doesn't work alone. When SpaceX's Dragon capsule docks, it doesn't just sit there like a taxi waiting to go home. It transforms into a second module, doubling the station's capabilities. Four astronauts can live and work here for 30 days, conducting experiments in conditions that would make ISS crew members weep with envy. February 2024, NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center runs a secret test that changes everything. They pressurize Haven 1 to 1.8 times normal atmospheric pressure, a stress level that would crack most spacecraft like an eggshell. Haven 1 doesn't even flinch. That's the moment NASA realizes they're dealing with technology that's decades ahead of anything they've ever seen. But this is just the opening act. Vast's real masterpiece is so revolutionary, so impossible, that when they first announced it, aerospace experts accused them of science fiction fantasy. May 2023, the announcement that sent every space contractor into panic mode. While NASA's chosen companies were still arguing over basic designs, VAST and SpaceX revealed a partnership that changed the entire game. This isn't just a launch contract, it's a complete vertical integration of the space economy. SpaceX launches the station. SpaceX delivers the crew. SpaceX trains the astronauts. SpaceX provides life support through Dragon. It's like Tesla controlling everything from the battery factory to the charging network. But here's what makes this partnership truly dangerous to competitors. Elon Musk isn't just supporting VAST, he's building SpaceX's own empire. Think about the economics. 
Who benefits when private space stations become the norm? The company that launches them. The company that delivers crews. The company that supplies them. SpaceX isn't just backing VAST. They're positioning themselves to control the entire commercial space ecosystem. And traditional contractors, they're about to become extinct. October 14, 2024, Milan, Italy. Vast's CEO drops a revelation that sends the entire space community into chaos. Haven 2 isn't just an upgrade. It's a complete paradigm shift that makes every existing space station look like a museum piece. We're talking about a rotating behemoth with 550 cubic meters of pressurized space. That's not just 42% larger than the ISS. It's large enough to house 12 astronauts in luxury conditions. But the size isn't even the most shocking part. Haven 2 will rotate four times per minute, generating artificial gravity through centrifugal force. The outer modules will simulate Earth gravity while the center remains in microgravity. It's like having two different worlds in one facility. This is where physics meets engineering genius in ways that seem impossible. By spinning the station, VAST solves the bone density loss and muscle atrophy that plague long-term space missions. Astronauts can exercise normally, sleep comfortably, and work without the constant fatigue that has limited every space mission in history. But how do you build something this complex? How do you dock spacecraft to a spinning station? How do you prevent motion sickness? The answers reveal technology so advanced that NASA is scrambling to understand how VAST made it work. Vast's timeline reads like science fiction, but every milestone is backed by working hardware. 2028, First Haven, two module launches on Falcon Heavy. 2029, three more modules connect like cosmic building blocks. 2030, the central hub deploys with its massive 7 meter diameter. 2032, Eight modules form a star-shaped constellation around the core. But here's the genius part that traditional aerospace companies can't replicate. The modular star configuration means modules can be added, removed, or upgraded independently. Need more laboratory space? Dock another module. Want to test new technology? Swap out an existing section. It's like having a space station that evolves in real time. The numbers are staggering. While China's Tiangong supports three to six astronauts in 150 cubic meters, Haven 2 will house 12 people in 550 cubic meters. We're not just talking about bigger, we're talking about a completely different class of orbital facility that makes everything else obsolete. Here's where VAST enters territory that no one has ever attempted. Artificial gravity in space has been theoretical for decades. Movies show rotating space stations but nobody's actually built one that works. Vast is about to become the first company to prove this technology at scale, and the implications are mind-blowing. The physics are elegant, but the engineering challenges are enormous. How do you prevent motion sickness during spin-up? How do you dock visiting spacecraft to a rotating station? How do you balance mass distribution as modules are added? Vast solutions involve sophisticated gyroscopic stabilization and variable rotation rates that seem impossible until you see them work. During crew transfers and cargo deliveries, the station can slow its rotation or stop entirely. Once operations resume, it spins back up to create artificial gravity. It's like having a dimmer switch for gravity itself. Technology that will revolutionize not just space stations, but every aspect of long-term space habitation. While NASA's contractors burn through taxpayer millions with little to show for it, VAST operates with laser focus and unlimited funding. No government oversight, no political pressure, no bureaucratic delays. McCaleb's funding model is pure capitalism. Invest your own money, move fast, deliver results. The numbers tell a shocking story. Axiom Space, despite $100 plus million in NASA funding, is struggling with financial problems and schedule delays. Blue Origin talks about 830 cubic meters of space by 2030, but has shown zero progress on actual hardware. Sierra Space's inflatable modules remain untested concepts that exist only in computer simulations. Vast, they have functional life support systems, completed power distribution units, and structural components that pass NASA's most demanding tests. While competitors talk, VAST builds. While others make promises, 
VAST delivers hardware. VAST isn't just scaling up existing technology. They're innovating at every level with solutions that seem to come from the future. Their air filtration systems use advanced molecular filters that outperform ISS technology by orders of magnitude. Power distribution employs solid-state switching that eliminates single points of failure. Docking systems incorporate automated guidance that reduces human error to nearly zero. The Dragon integration showcases VAST's engineering brilliance in ways that traditional contractors can't match. Instead of building expensive, dedicated modules, they leverage SpaceX's proven Crew Dragon as a multi-purpose facility. Dragon provides additional life support, crew quarters, and emergency evacuation capability. It's like getting two modules for the price of one, efficiency that makes competitors look wasteful and obsolete. But the real breakthrough is thermal management. Space stations face extreme temperature swings, from minus 250 degrees Fahrenheit in Earth's shadow to plus 250 degrees Fahrenheit in direct sunlight. VAST's thermal vacuum testing proves their systems can handle these extremes while maintaining comfortable internal conditions that would make Earth-based facilities jealous. China's Tiangong station isn't just competition. It's validation of VAST strategy and a warning of what happens if America falls behind. Tiangong proves that modern space stations can be built quickly and efficiently when politics doesn't interfere. Three modules assembled in 18 months, supporting continuous habitation with technology that rivals the ISS. But Tiangong has fatal limitations that reveal its true purpose. Only Chinese astronauts allowed. Limited international collaboration, closed technology sharing. When the ISS deorbits in 2031, Tiangong might be the only major space station in orbit. China would effectively control human space presence, a geopolitical nightmare that Haven 2 prevents. The implications go far beyond science. Space stations are platforms for Earth observation, communications, manufacturing, and military applications. Whoever controls orbital space controls the ultimate high ground. Haven 2 ensures that Western nations maintain independent access to space and preserve their technological leadership. Haven 2 isn't just for astronauts and scientists. It's designed with space tourism in mind, creating revenue streams that make commercial space stations financially sustainable. The artificial gravity modules allow normal walking, sleeping, and eating. Tourists can experience space without the discomfort of weightlessness. The cupola windows provide stunning Earth views that make every moment Instagram-worthy. The market potential is enormous and barely tapped. Virgin Galactic charges $450,000 for a few minutes in space. VAST could offer multi-day orbital experiences with artificial gravity, luxury accommodations, and exclusive Earth views. At $1 to $2 million per tourist, the numbers add up to billions in revenue that traditional space contractors can't access. This dual-purpose design creates multiple revenue streams that ensure profitability. Government contracts fund basic operations. Scientific missions generate research fees. Tourism provides premium pricing for wealthy adventures. It's a business model that makes commercial space stations not just viable, but inevitable. While VAST promotes civilian applications, the military potential is obvious and game-changing. A large rotating space station with artificial gravity could support extended military operations in space. The modular design allows rapid reconfiguration for different missions. The artificial gravity enables normal equipment operation and crew effectiveness for months or years. The U.S. Space Force has been quietly watching VAST's progress with intense interest. A commercial station with dual-use capabilities provides military access without the political complications of government-owned facilities. It's plausible deniability with orbital superiority the perfect solution for space warfare capabilities that can't be officially acknowledged. China recognizes this threat, which explains their rapid Tiangong deployment. This wasn't just about scientific prestige. It was about establishing space dominance before American commercial stations come online. Haven 2 represents the counter move in this orbital chess game that will determine who controls the ultimate high ground. The numbers don't lie, and they paint a picture of total competitive failure. Blue Origin's orbital reef promises 830 cubic meters of space by 2030. Impressive until you realize they've shown zero progress on actual hardware in three years of development. 
Northrop Grumman Station exists only in PowerPoint presentations. Sierra Space talks about inflatable modules, but can't demonstrate basic pressure containment. Vast, they have functional life support systems that pass NASA testing, power distribution units that work flawlessly, structural components that exceed design specifications. While competitors burn money on concepts, VAST builds and tests real hardware that astronauts will actually use. The timeline advantage is crushing. Haven 1 launches in 2026, Haven 2 completes by 2032. That's before most competitors even reach orbit with basic modules. By the time Blue Origin and Sierra Space figure out their designs, VAST will be operating commercial space hotels and research facilities that generate billions in revenue. How does a crypto billionaire with no aerospace experience outmaneuver NASA contractors with decades of expertise? The answer is Elon Musk's algorithm applied to space stations, the same process that revolutionized cars, rockets, and internet satellites. Step one, question every requirement. Even if everyone knows how to build space stations, VAST's engineers question every assumption. Why do modules need to be so small? Why can't stations rotate? Why do we accept microgravity as inevitable? Step two, delete unnecessary parts. VAST's modular design eliminates thousands of components that traditional stations require. Step three, simplify and optimize. VAST's Dragon integration eliminates the need for separate crew quarters, life support backups, and emergency evacuation systems. Step four, accelerate the process. Without government oversight, VAST can test, fail, learn, and iterate at Silicon Valley speed. This algorithm turns the impossible into operational hardware that works better than anything NASA has ever built. It's the same process that made Tesla the world's most valuable car company and SpaceX the dominant launch provider. So here's the question that will determine humanity's future in space. Can a crypto billionaire with unlimited funding and Silicon Valley mentality revolutionize an industry that's been controlled by government bureaucracies for over 60 years? Based on what we've seen so far, the answer isn't just clear. It's inevitable. The space station revolution isn't coming. It's already here, and VAST is leading it with technology that makes everything else look primitive. So there you have it. While NASA burns billions on outdated concepts, a crypto billionaire and SpaceX are quietly building humanity's orbital future. Haven 2 isn't just replacing the ISS. It's leaping decades ahead with artificial gravity, modular design, and commercial viability that changes everything. But here's what keeps me up at night. If VAST can revolutionize space stations this dramatically, what other impossible space technologies are sitting in someone's garage right now? Asteroid mining, Mars colonies, interstellar travel. The space race isn't between countries anymore. It's between old thinking and radical innovation. And the innovators are winning. What do you think? Will traditional aerospace ever catch up? Or is this the beginning of a complete industry takeover? Drop your thoughts below, and if you're as obsessed with space's cutting edge as we are, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, what's coming next will blow your mind even more. The revolution has begun. The question is, are you ready for it?